Welcome back to DZ Vision. Yes, we are back at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort for our final night of the Nassau Paradise Island Wine and Food Festival. Tonight is all about jerk jam and these chefs and these restaurants and eateries are going to be out here showcasing their best jerk dishes. Also, we're going to have a performance later on tonight by recording artist Wyclef. So I expect tonight to be a real party, a real real party and I'm looking forward to all the jerk dishes that we're gonna have an opportunity to try tonight so I ain't gonna be doing too much talking in this intro I ready I know you're ready so hey come on let's go all right we in here we are in the festival the night is all about jerk jam final night of festivities for the Nassau Paradise Island Wine and Food Festival we got high level band it's on the stage performing right now, they jamming. We got Wyclef coming up later on tonight. And listen, the smell of the food in here is amazing. I wish that y'all could smell it. It is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to dig into this food because it already smells good. So I believe that it, it, everything tastes good. So hey, let's get into it. Alright, this first plate is from Bimini Road Restaurant that is located here at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. This is jerk pork tenderloin. And it uh, looks like they have some salsa there next to it or that's going with it. It smells very good. It smells very good. And so let's uh, let's get into it. Alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna taste the meat first. Okay, I'll taste the salsa first. Pineapples make it sweet. Of course, there's some peppers in there. Give it a little spice, a little spicy kick. I'm trying to get this meat on the on the fork. Can't get the meat on the fork, so I'm trying to hold the camera the same time. And here it is. Okay, the pork is tender. Um, the jerk sauce is pretty good. Okay, so that bite right there. Just to get a little bit of everything in there. And that was a pretty good start. That was, a, that was pretty good. Um, the jerk sauce could have been just a little spicy for me. But that was pretty good. So that was, that was a good start to the evening. Uh, that was the pork tenderloin from Bimini Road. Alright, this one here. This is a jerk style shot top of ribeye. Now this ribeye has uh, plantain, some look at some crispy plantains. It looks like some um, onions and herbs, and then there's a sauce and there's something underneath it, and then there's a, a sauce on the top of it. Okay, Mark Joe is saying that the uh, the stuff underneath it tastes like a sweet potato, mashed potato, or a sweet mashed potato, and it looks like it. So uh, let me see if I get a. Uh, Dive into this plate here. I'm gonna taste one of the plantains first. Okay, plantains are pretty good. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. 
That, that, that tastes like a, either a mashed pumpkin or mashed sweet potato. Trying, trying to get the steak. Pretty good. I was hoping the steak itself would have just a little more flavor. I'm um, sorry. Um, the steak's kind of lacking a little bit of flavor for me, but it was okay. I was excited to try that steak, but it was just okay for me. Wasn't what I expected, but um. Everything else that went with the steak, really good. Really good. Like the plantains. Um, this, this mash stuff underneath it, pretty good. All right, so here it is. But you know, watermelon is a naturally sweet fruit, and so that has like that um, like a sweet and spicy thing going on. Very interesting. That's different, I like it. And Mark Joe likes it too. Jerk watermelon. Wow. That was a new experience for me. I enjoyed it. All right, we're here over here at the Food People booth, and this is the head chef here. Uh, what's your name, brother? Antonio Williams. Antonio Williams. Now, I just tried something, and I had to come over here to talk to you about it. It was a vegan dish. Yes. With like jerk watermelon or something in it. Jerk watermelon tata. So tell us a little bit about that, man. So what happened, I was here on Thursday night to the taco event, and I noticed that person was saying they didn't have a, a lot of meat, non-meat options. So I said, let me see what I can do to incorporate not only the jerk pork that I was already doing, right. but to create another dish that would be nice, bite, juicy, and nice and fresh for this environment, open air. So I just got the watermelon. Put a jerk spice to it, make a nice dressing to go with, and it came out pretty good. Yeah. So what 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 else are y'all featuring here tonight? So what along with this, we're doing the jerk pork. We did a nice roast on the on the pork. We did a pulled pork. We made a really nice jerk sauce. And I think it's going really good. Persons are enjoying it. All right, thank you, man. That that um that weekend auction that that was good. Yeah, really appreciate it, that. man. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm not much of a dim sum eater, but 
I try anything once. And he's behind me dancing. But um, it was okay. Um, I don't know if I'm too much a fan of it, but it was all right. Um, one thing I can say, the empanada is very crispy. And I like that. Uh, the inside of it, the filling, was okay for me. I liked it. You like, Mark Joe likes it. It was okay for me. I can feel the, uh, like the, 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 the spice starting to kick in on my taste buds now. It was okay for me. Over at the booth there, booth, and they have uh, chicken them some, and then they have a pork them some right on, that I have underneath it. So we can try both and see how, how they are. Spiciness and heat jerk sauces, but my taste buds are starting to come through my nose. I'm gonna try the, the, the pork. Nope. I get a zero out of ten for me. That's all. That's all they have on this. I like it. I like that one. Good job, Ocean Blue. All right, now I have here a jerk wing. This is from the Sip Sip booth, and it has a banana guava ketchup on it. Um, the sauce gives it a sweet and spicy kind of a, a flavor.
when I first bit into it, the banana was strong, but as I, as I started to chew and the flavors melded together, it tasted really good. Thanks jerk, jerk, people. and These more jerk. Here now we are He's trying a dish from another but one of our local chefs. This Great one here is from vendors. Junior's Grill. Local vendors, and this I can tell you, my wife jerk says pork and festival. the octopus is absolutely jerk amazing. Jerk pork and festival. Second to my... Jerk pork. It's good. Festival. For those of you that know about island food, you know what festival is. Yes. All right. You know the mic. Do what you want. Jerk food and fe jerk meat and festival. It's always a good combination. You mean it? All right, guys. So we have the jerk food from Chef JJ Johnson. I'm gonna call that the friend. He's ready to uh, work with him, uh, uh, so... Alright, here we go. These jerk ribs look good, so let's try it. Watching it looks like you. some kind of here we go. coleslaw. Come on, put your hands up, everybody. Everybody in the back, put your Jason. hands up. Come, Come on, on now. Come on, JJ. Let's jerk jam. JJ, JJ. Come move. on, put your hands up. Let's go. My pay, JJ doesn't mean jerk jam. JJ put him up. is a real person. An amazing chef and a dear friend of mine. Look stand up. And let me tell you, this guy is going to fucking... I, I, shouldn't say, I shouldn't say that, but... There's a lot of fire on this one. This He's gonna say, this coming rolled on fire. Come on, Robert. Sorry, that's in here. Come on, put them out. Everybody put them out! Here we go. One, two, two three! three. Alright. Not bad. How's the, how's the seasoning on that one? It's alright. It's not pretty, it's not too bad. Like 8 out of 10. on there. This is good. I think I need another one of these. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Good combination. Good combination. We have some salsa on that too. With the jerk chicken and the fries. Good combination. Beautiful. Alright, that's gonna do it for tonight's for today's video. That's gonna do it for our time here at the Nassau Paradise Island Wine and Food Festival. Jerk Jam was definitely a vibe. Good food, good company, good vibes all around. I don't know if you can hear it, but White Clef is still on the stage. We left him on the stage performing, still on the stage. We had a great time. Uh, our stomachs are full once again. So we definitely gotta say thank you to Atlantis for having us out to the festival again this year. Had an amazing time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Show some love to the channel. If you haven't as yet, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I don't know, maybe this, maybe tonight was a shorter night than the previous two. I don't know, but we'll see. But thank you so much for joining us as we enjoyed the Nassau Paradise Island Wine and Food Festival in 2024. Hopefully we'll be back in 2025. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.